Police are expected to release some new information today about the investigation into a bizarre double murder on Padre Island. As Meg Oliver reports, the crime could spark an international hunt for suspects. More than 100 people gathered Sunday night for a vigil in Rumney, New Hampshire, a small town where James and Michelle Butler fell in love and married in 2015. They did everything together. They loved each other deeply. Deborah Van Loon is James's older sister. She says her brother and Michelle were inseparable. They were always together and smiling and having fun and doing what they loved. James was a retired Navy veteran, and the couple had been on a cross country road trip in a used RV trailer, taking odd jobs along the way to make ends meet. Deborah says they were likely headed to Florida next to sell Christmas trees. We knew something was wrong because they never missed phone calls. Most recently, the couple was staying in their trailer on a beach on Padre Island, right outside of Corpus Christi. It's where police say their bodies were found buried in the sand dunes on October 27th, several days after they were first reported missing. But the Cleaver County Sheriff's Office says the truck and RV trailer the couple was traveling in was nowhere to be found. Investigators say both vehicles were last seen on surveillance video between October 20th and 21st, crossing the U.S. Mexico border. The driver was not James or Michelle. Police haven't named a possible suspect. It's not very often that we have a mobile crime scene if the crime was committed, say, in the trailer. John Matthews is a former Dallas police officer. He says U.S. authorities will have to work closely with Mexican authorities to get answers. They're going to be looking for both. Bullet casings are going to be looking for ev any evidence they can tie back to the suspect. This is a horrific crime, and we certainly want to bring those individuals into custody. The couple had five grown children and one grandchild. Over the weekend, it was James Butler's birthday. He would have turned 49 years old. Police are not saying how the couple died. Meg Oliver, CBS News, Corpus Christi, Texas.